Three months ago, we had the last substrate change for Prosopocoilus hosterti moinieri. Today, I'm making a check what is the status of uh, the larvae. Have they already pupated or not, or are they probably all already um, adults? So it's probably the same like with Giraffa, that the males need a lot more time to develop than the females. So I put them in 5 liter containers also, and the uh, females, or what I thought they were females, I put in these uh, 500 milliliter containers. Some of the females have already uh, emerged, so we have a lot of adult females now, but we not yet have uh, males of Protopocoelus hosterti. Moinieri, so we will see whether uh, they are still larvae or have um, already developed. So that was the pupa here, and there's a hole, so you can guess that if there's a hole like this, the female that was in here, a poop, female pupa, 3rd of May, three months ago, it has uh, gone away, so you lost it because the lid was not close enough, or the plastic is not strong enough for an animal, like a stag beetle because these uh, mandibles are so strong they choose to practically all material that you can guess. So let's have a look what is inside here. So I was guessing nothing anymore in here because as you see the hole is a typical time, it's all the typical form of a female. It, it goes through this uh, kind of hole and can go away. So where do we find it? difficult to say, probably somewhere near the place where it came out of the box, but it can fly around, crawl around, it can uh, go out uh, to, in the search of, uh, of a good place uh, to find a male that is not there. So probably if you are lucky you will find them in the place where they came out. So if there's a door open or something, of course they are lost then. 3rd of May I changed it. Thing is, this looks really troublesome because it uh, seems like a, a wet, earthy material which also um, warms in there. That's not a good sign because stag beetle they live in wood or or in white rotten wood. So whenever you see something like that, not a good sign. But we are lucky today. Look, here is a female of Osterti. Moinieri, and we will see how she looks under the microscope. She's not quite finished. You see that on this spot underneath the mandible, it's slightly, it's slightly reddish. So if it's completely black, then it's all so uh, finished. A uh, female, and also you see she's very quiet now. She doesn't want to move around. So what we do, we just uh, put a piece, I put a piece of a wet fruit next to her so that she can drink if she needs some water, but it doesn't seem to be the case here because the substrate is very wet, so we just uh, put her back and we try not to close her completely so that she can um, press in here and we close it again. One female we have already. One is gone. And, uh, um, and now let's check the, the male. As you know that, as you know, I'm also uh, making this video, of course, with other boxes um, in the channel, for the channel, German playlist. So if you want to see then more of this, so just uh, go there, probably there we see something else than in this video. Surface seems okay, mycelium of mushrooms, also here, the fruit bodies of mold or other uh, mushrooms, grey worms, I don't really like them, but it's difficult to get rid of them, because they can crawl also from one box to another, it's incredible how they can move around. And now uh, let's have a look what happens here. So I see it's still a larvae, it's here on this side, well here you see it. So I will keep the place the same as it is now, just measure the weight of it, 29.6 grams, so this probably is, a, is a, a male also with nearly 30 grams.
Oh, they look coming in, they are big. And they are, also this one is, of course, is more than 10 centimeters long. Yeah. They are really a piece of a, a good piece. I think it's a, of a male. Oops, so it just emitted a fresh pellet. They can be really big with these animals. So just put him back. Don't want to disturb him anymore. Back to the same place it was. So that's okay like this. It has a cave down here where he can uh, pupate later if uh, he's big enough. So that's... Um, That's still a larvae. It gained, in the last three months, it gained another eight grams. So let's have a look here. This was a really big animal force of April. It was uh, already 30 grams. So let's have a look what happened here. Do we see something from the side? I don't see. Yeah. So uh, now you also see why I try to take the whole block out in one piece because if it's something in here I just can put it back to the box in the same structure as I find it here. So now what is here? There seems to be structure in here, but, oh, here probably. Let's open it and have a look. Very careful. I guess it would be a pupa already, but so that's why I open it very carefully. Nothing until now. Yeah, oh, look! <laughs> look how beautiful this male! In the in the purple chamber, it's looking out to this world. First, second, it sees the light. Yeah, because they always live in the substrate, but they can develop perfect eyes also in a surrounding where you can't see anything. So how does this work? Incredible. Nature is really incredible. So I try to. Uh, clean it a little bit so that we can take it out and sh uh, show it uh, to you that's really nice so we have a male already of Prosopocoilus hosterti moinieri and this is I think not a small one and because we have already some females and this is not completely developed but it's in a good stage now Just to put, now look at this one. Hosterti Moinieri from the Solomon Islands. So how long is this one? This is, it's much more than six. It was nearly seven centimeters. It's six point, I would say eight uh, centimeter. That's prominent for Hosterti Moinieri. Uh, it's a major, it's a major male. They don't make that big mandibles as for example Prosopocoilus uh, uh, giraffa. They are a bit from the size, they are much more compact, um, a, a little bit more Dorcus like um, but this is a very nice species and I am happy that I can grow them so well. This is the structure here of this pupil chamber here that's also very interesting how they build it. This is, let's put him back to his substrate here. Look, and then we have a look at this uh, part of the broken shell of the pupil chamber. It's built in several layers. So inside there is one layer, with the, the brown one. Then there is a, a yellowish one here. Next, and this seems to be like a kind of a, a structure that not only stabilizes the pupil chamber but it does also because if you if you move it around it's pretty hard here so you can't break it compared with the substrate here you can 
just break it apart but this is a really strong thing here material and also probably this uh, inhibits other animals from coming into this pupil chamber that's a inter very interesting uh, structure also so my dear hosterty brother what are we doing with you I think we will find you one or two nice females and now uh, until we have prepared the breeding box for you we just put you uh, back with a lot of your original material into the box where you originally came from so you can hide here underneath and I put also the original uh, purple chamber near to him so if he wants uh, and if he needs it he can crawl in again and be safe there and then we wait until uh, He's really ready for mating with a lady of the same species. I put some watermelon there so he can eat something. That's very nice. So uh, we already found uh, a male. Not only lorry, that's nice to see. And we come back with the preparing of the breeding box for Hosterti and Moinieri. I would say one month around. Thanks for watching.